In this video, I wanna talk about how you can become an algebra master in just 30 minutes a day. So if you spend 30 minutes a day either reading a book or actually working math problems or even just watching a video, although I do think reading and doing math problems is more effective than videos, but I mean, we can count that too, but 30 minutes a day, every single day, just 30 minutes, you will become so much better, okay? So let me show you a couple ways that you can do that. So where do you start? I think if you don't know any math at all, you have to start with like pre-algebra. So pre-algebra is like before algebra. You learn really basic stuff, like how to reduce fractions, how to turn decimals into fractions, how to turn decimals into percents, um, just really, really basic how to multiply numbers. Stuff like that is learned in pre-algebra. And so here I have you know, four pre-algebra books, and let's go through them briefly. And it doesn't have to be any one of these, but you should get a pre-algebra book. So this one is pretty good. It's probably my favorite. This is Fearon's Pre-Algebra. And I like this book because of the amount of exercises it has and the clarity in the explanations. I've actually read this book. I've, believe it or not, even though I already know algebra and a little bit, a lot more, um, I read this book because I thought it would be instructive for me to go back and revisit uh, pre-algebra. Like how was it taught? How do people teach other people how to you know, do these, these things that, you know, if you already know pre-algebra, you take a lot of this for granted. And I found this to be probably the most enlightening of all of the pre-algebra books I have. So again, this is the one uh, by Fearons. I'll try to leave a link in the description uh, if I can find it on the internet. This one is also excellent. This is the one by AGS. Again, I'll leave a link in the description if I can find it. Um, great book. I know I paid less than $10 for each of my pre-algebra books. I get them used on the internet always. I always try to get used books. Um, I have so many books that I kind of have to force myself to get them used because it just gets too expensive. Um, but this one has a lot of examples. Also a really solid choice if you're trying to uh, refresh your skills. These last two are also really good. I think these are more popular. You know, I don't teach pre-algebra. I've never taught it, but I feel like these are more popular. This is the one by Glencoe and McGraw-Hill. Those are big companies. And this is the one uh, by Glencoe. I, I think these might be very, very similar. Um, they're a little bit different though. And I'll try it again to leave links in the description if I can find them. So here we have three college algebra books, okay? So this is like the next step up from pre-algebra. Technically, there's a, there's a course called Intermediate Algebra, but I decided to skip that in this video and just jump straight to college algebra. So this first book up top here is probably the easiest of the three. This is the one by Kaufman. Very, very beginner-friendly book. And you'll find that the topics in this book are different than some of the topics in the other algebra books, right? No two algebra books are exactly the same. Like if you actually sit down and read them, which I know you will, uh, um, you will notice differences. And again, just 30 minutes, either reading or doing problems, uh, absolutely life-changing in terms of math. In order to become a college algebra master, you really want to get to the level of difficulty that is found in these books, okay? These are basically pre-calc and trig books. So they have algebra and trigonometry. You might say, what's, what's pre-calc? Pre-calc is just uh, math before calculus. So it has like algebra, it's got some matrices, you know, it's got a bunch of random topics uh, that you're supposed to learn, I guess, before calculus. And th again, the problems in these books, the problems in these books are harder than the problems in the college algebra books that you just saw. So let's look at three of these. So this one is really popular. This is the one by Sullivan. It's a pretty good choice. Uh, if you can find it for a few dollars, I recommend it. And all you would have to do again is just spend 30 minutes a day just working on problems from this or, or reading. And really solid book, really good exercises. It's a great choice. This is a big book too. Look how thick this is. I mean, these are just, these are big math books. You can spend so much time uh, learning math from these wonderful books. This is the one by Forrester. I don't even know if this book 
um, still exists. <laughs> I will look. After I make this video, I'll look for it on Amazon so you can read the reviews and stuff. But I got this copy probably for less than $10. And this one's even thicker. Look at that. It's just like a giant, giant book. And solid choice uh, for, for learning more algebra. My favorite is this one, and that's because I'm biased, right? We all have our biases, and that's because I use this to teach the class. Um, this is a great book, and I like this one because this is the instructor's edition, so it has answers. Let me show you, look. See those numbers in blue? Those are the answers. It gives you the answers uh, next to the problems. So if you can get an instructor's edition uh, on the internet used, um, totally worth it because you'll have the answers to all of the problems, usually. Uh, this is the one by Hornsby, Lyle, and Roxwold. Another choice for learning algebra is videos. So if you're watching this video, you're watching it on YouTube, right? And I have a YouTube channel, obviously, and it's a math channel, and I have thousands of math videos on all kinds of topics, and hundreds on algebra. I have a college algebra playlist that has more than what you need. It has everything. Now, the problem with YouTube, which I love YouTube, is that I have so many videos, it's hard to you know go through them all. Mine are organized, but still. Uh, if you want more structure, like if you want things in sections, check out my Udemy course. I will leave uh, the link in the description. My college algebra course is actually uh, pretty good. I rarely, rarely pump uh, my Udemy courses. I usually, um, you know, put the link in the description, but I, I don't know. I'm not, I just, I have a hard time doing it. But um, my college algebra course is really good. Like it has uh, assignments and it's super comprehensive. Like there should be no mistakes. It's really, 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 really good. Um, so check it out. It, I think it's a few dollars. Um, I'll leave the link in the description. Or if not, again, you can just watch, you know, free videos on YouTube. The most important thing you should take away from this video is the part that says 30 minutes a day, okay? Because if you're trying to get good at math, not just algebra, it's really about being consistent and having focused study time. You need quiet time where you can just clear your mind and just focus on what you're doing. It's really hard for people to do that because it's really hard to focus. We have a lot of distractions in our lives. You might live with other people. It's really tough, right? What you wanna do is find some quiet time and just get into the zone, right? And spend 30 minutes per day in the zone where you're just working on math. And you just do it every day. I mean, think about it. If it's three o'clock and you say, hey, at four o'clock, I'm gonna study from four to 4.30. What is that? It's 30 minutes every day. It's nothing. And if you do it every day, you will get so much better. I hope this video has been helpful to you in some way. Good luck to you, and don't forget to become an algebra master.